The Cannes Film Festival is an international film festival hosted each year in the city of Cannes in France. It's a large and all-encompassing event created to display a wide array of productions created all across the world, branching across all genres including documentary filmmaking. The event is seen as one of the largest in the world of cinema, a massively publicised event and is described on its website as the most important film festival in terms of worldwide impact. The history of this prestigious festival is often seen to have started in 1946, as since this year it has continued to be held annually at a fairly consistent rate, despite some teething problems with funding in the earlier years. However, the true forgotten origin of this festival started to come about eight years prior. To understand the origins of the Cannes Film Festival, or the International Film Festival as it was known at the time, we first have to look at the 1938 Venice Mostra the first international competition to exist within the film industry. This was the sixth instalment of the festival and on the final day a jury had got together to vote upon the winning film. An American film was decided upon to take the prize unanimously by the jury. This would have either been The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Norman Turok, the first film version of the novel, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by Walt Disney, his first feature film, Mary Antoinette by W.S. Van Dyke, or Jezebel, a romantic drama film by William Wyler. However, here is where politics began to interfere with the democracy of the festival. Under pressure from Adolf Hitler, the winning movie was changed from the American film to the Nazi propaganda production Olympia, and Mussolini's Italy's production Luciano Serra. The decision was not received well at all, causing an outrage among the members representing democratic countries. The United States, Great Britain, and most importantly France, left the Venice Mostra and vowed never to return. Philippe Erlinger was a French member of the Mostra Festival jury, and upon his journey back to France, he started to lay out blueprints for a festival to replace it. The idea was to create an international festival that was free of political pressures and constraints. Despite at first the idea of this rival festival being opposed by the foreign minister due to concerns of it affecting Franco-Italian relations, eventually it was decided that the idea of a film festival in which the art that was presented would not be influenced and under the constraints of political manoeuvring was needed. The development of the festival would begin and in June 1939 France would announce its existence to the media, declaring it would open on the 1st of September that year the same day as the Venice Mostra. France then had to decide upon a location for the festival to take place, somewhere to rival the setting of Venice, and on the 31st of May 1939, the town of Cannes and the French government signalled the official birth of the International Film Festival. The first instalment of this festival was to begin on the 1st of September 1939, and continue on till the 20th of that month held in the hall of the Municipal Casino. The idea of the festival was to create a level playing field, a festival held in the spirit of artistic objectivity and absolute impartiality. Each of the participating countries would receive the Grand Prix prize for one of the films they entered into the competition to avoid further tensions. Invitations were sent out to the most prestigious film developing countries, including Germany and Italy. However, the two fascist powers would decline the invitation. Despite international tensions heating up in Europe, the festival was set to go on. French artist Jean-Gabriel Domer created an official poster for invitation. 2,000 of these were sent out, creating a buzz and hype about the festival. Even a transatlantic liner rented by Metro Goldwyn Mayer docked in the Bay of Cannes, carrying a star-studded cast including Gary Cooper, Tyrone Power and Douglas Fairbanks. However, from here, things would turn sour, and the 1939 festival would never take place. On the 23rd of August, the world was shocked at the news of the German-Soviet pact, and the tourists in Cannes would start to flee. On the 1st of September 1939, the day it was scheduled to begin, Germany would invade Poland, and the opening would be postponed for 10 days. However, two days later, war was declared, and in turn, 
the festival was cancelled. The only screening to be shown was a private screening of the French movie The Hunchback of Notre Dame by William de Tell, organised by the festival committee. Ultimately, the festival had been cancelled by the one thing it was created to oppose, political tensions. The festival lineup was set to include films such as The Wizard of Oz, The Union Pacific and The Four Feathers. It would have truly been an illustrious and spectacular event. It wasn't until 2002 a tribute ceremony would be held for this forgotten historical event. The Palm Door Award was presented to Cecil B. De Mills Union Pacific and some closure would finally come to a true momentous moment that never quite happened. <laughs>